to the CIA. What's going on, guys? Uh, <laughs> I've never done a video like this before, but I just kind of got inspired. Uh, you see your big brothers out here chilling in some nice little gray sweater, some cool jeans, you know, and some, you know, fly boots, glasses. Um, here's Sunday afternoon, and I actually had a lovely afternoon with a new young hottie that I'm actually kicking it with. Uh, I've told you guys how I'm dating multiple women, and I mentioned that, you know, actually one of the women I'm seeing, you know, actually had to put her on the free agency, you know. But which, which, by the way, guys, keep a standard, have a standard, because here's the thing. There's always going to be this test of frames. You're going to have a woman test you, and dude, I'm going to tell you, when that stuff starts, I just elect to just cut it off because I'm up front when I talk to a woman, you know. Whatever we're doing, we're doing it. If you decide you want to, you know, giving me an ultimatum, it's the wrong thing to do because I, I, I have the power of walking away. I have the power to say no. But anyway, so as I'm sitting here and over brunch today, over brunch, over late lunch today, um, I just noticed her just kind of staring at, like, just looking at you intently. And I'm like, what's on your mind? Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you want to become part of the movement, do me a favor. Join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description. Peace. You're the kind of man women would love to cheat with. And I'm like, what? Because I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? And, you know, I wasn't offended by it, but I just didn't understand what it, what she meant. And she's like, well, you know, you know, no, no, it's not that I'm not saying you're the husband type or I wouldn't love to be your wife. But I'm saying that, you know, being with a guy like you is kind of intimidating for a lot of women. And I'm like, oh, are you speaking for a lot of women or yourself? She's like, it'd be kind of intimidating because she knows that, hey, man, She's got to, basically, she knows she has to stay on her shit. And if not, you know, there's more options out there. See, and that's what you want to always do, man. It's the whole thing about keep her chasing your validation. Keep her, um, keep her on her toes. Worst thing for any relationship, man, is contentedness and complacency. Even if it's just a dating relationship. You, as a man, you want to stay on your best, stay on your toes. And honestly, the women you're dating... You want to keep them there too. So basically she is saying that it's cool to do that with somebody you see infrequently or that you're not really in a serious one-on-one -on -one monogamous relationship, a serious one-on-one -on -one monogamous relationship, but to be married to a guy like that, uh, but to be married to a guy like that would be stressful to a lot of women. And I'm like, well, no, it really shouldn't be stressful if you plan on doing what the hell you say you're doing, see, therein lies the rub. Let people talk long enough and they're telling themselves. Basically, she was saying that, you know, I want to actually get with a dude that's going to allow me to kick up my feet, relax, and not have to stay out here in the gym, not have to stay out here doing what I do. I want to take it easy. And no, 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 no. That's why I say, guys, if you're dating multiple women, don't lie. Let them know. It's actually good for you because the competition is on. The pressure is on. I don't want her to sit back and get lazy on me, get fat on me, get all crazy. No, 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 no. I do my self-improvement stuff. I want you to stay that way, too. But then the other side of it, she was like, you know, but then she, I was like, so is that, is that all it meant that you wouldn't want to keep up with your, you know, you wouldn't want to have to keep your appearance and all that up. It's like, no, it's just that, you know, being with a man like, being with a guy like you is pressure. It's pressure because I feel like I got to perform. And, you know, it's pressure on the one side, but then it's also fun on the other side. It's kind of like, you know, it's pressure on one side, but then it's also a joy because, you know, you get to do something fun or exciting. It's like, you know, it's kind of like birthday cake. I love birthday cake. I love birthday cake with vanilla, vanilla birthday cake with sprinkles on it. So good ice cream. I mean, I love this stuff. If I ever go to Marble Slab, I get sweet cream ice cream and a waffle cone with sprinkles. That's my ish. That's my shit. 
but I don't want it every day. So when you are the guy that she would want to cheat with, you like the treat. It is something she looks forward to. Something that makes her go, oh, makes her crave you, become obsessed with you. And that's really the goal. I mean, for me, I'm gonna tell you, that's the spot I want to occupy with a woman. I want her to be out here thinking about me, craving me, leave her wanting. Got a video coming up on that this week. Pay attention because it is better for her and it is better for me. Let me tell you why it's better for her. Because her mind is engaged. Her emotions are engaged. She is firing on all cylinders and women love that stuff. Men, we are perfectly fine being lone wolves out on our own, getting together in packs and doing our things, but that is what we are. Women are the other way around. And if you can actually keep her mind running in a healthy way, not wondering what you're doing, but wondering, not wondering what you're doing, any of that, in a healthy way, not in a negative way, where she's actually work, when she's actually thinking about, I can't wait to see him. I can't wait. I wonder what this is going to be. I wonder what that's going to be. I wonder where we're going to go. I wonder what we're going to do. When she's excited to see you, when, when a woman is excited to be around you, that is a different experience. Ask yourself a question, man. Real talk. When was the last time a woman was legitimately excited to see you? I mean, legitimately excited to see you like a puppy or a dog when you come home from a hard day's work and they're just sitting at the door. <laughs> When's the last time that ever happened? Has it ever happened? If not, I got to ask you, if you're not married, if you're out here dating, why are you settling for just mediocre? Why are you settling for transactional? In my opinion, you take a good long look in the mirror, get honest with yourself and then decide to do the work. You know what I say? Take a year off. Get your body right, mind tight, image together, purpose on point, game on lock, and get back out there. Set a standard that is going to make you happy. Go after your happiness because when you're happy, she's happy. Because when you're happy, you can make her happy. But when you're unhappy, you can't do anything for any of the women you're dating. Be the guy that she wants to cheat with. It's better for you. It's better for her. It's better for everybody. So next time, talk at you later. Big bro out. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor. Follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.